Hello and welcome to Bradley's Space. Now this is my first video in quite a while and that's been due to uni and stuff like that but hopefully I've got some exciting videos to come and the first is presenting this. It's the iPad and that's literally its name, it's just called the iPad. Last year they released the first kind of iPad in this series, it's a 9.7 inch tablet, it's a literally came out I think a couple months ago and this one is called iPad but I'm going to call it the I iPad 2018 because last year they released the iPad 2017 and this basically just has a newer processor so as I said it's a 9.7 inch tablet so it's a fair size tablet it's really light when you first get your hands on it the reason I bought this is to help me with uni stuff. It's brilliant. You can get stuff like Packet Tracer Lite, which is ha like helps to design and simulate networks. It's got all sorts on it. It's good for looking at PowerPoints. Really like to carry around if you don't need a laptop. And I've been really enjoying it so far. But we're going to do what I do on it in a separate video. This video is taking a look at the actual tablet itself, its ports, its specs, those kind of things. So. Let's get straight into it and let's show you the actual iPad 2018 9.7 or whatever Apple's calling it because it's got to have some model number, right? I mean, anyway, let's get into the video. So this is it. It's the Apple iPad 9.7 2018 or whatever you're going to call it. As you can see, it's a fairly nice size. I've got it in a snazzy little red case here. I really like the screen. The colors are really good. And it is a perfect size for carrying around a backpack. You've got two volume buttons on the side and you've got the lock button which is pretty standard to every Apple device I think. It's the first Apple device I've owned and it's okay so far. I mean, you've still got a headphone jack which for an Apple device is good. I mean, you've got a lightning port at the bottom, two stereo speakers. They're not the best, they're quite tinny. I'll try and show you that in another video if I can record them properly without it sounding weird. And you've got the fingerprint sensor home button thingy. The actual tablet's really light, that's what I got it for. I just want to throw it in a backpack, don't have to carry around my massive laptop for the rest of the day. It just makes life a lot easier. Now, the fingerprint sensor is really quick. I mean, just look how quick I can lock it, get it back up and running straight away. It's literally that quick. And this is the back camera. This is a photo, a still photo, and now this is the same thing, same lighting conditions as the video, and I think it looks okay. I mean, it's not got the best camera in the world, but for the price, it's pretty decent. It's up there with most, like, mid phones, I guess. There's a selfie, and now I'm gonna show you some video, so stay patient. This is an example of what the front camera looks like and how the microphone sounds. It looks okay to me. Okay, so this is some video on the iPad and it looks amazing. The colours are amazing. It's not quite 2K, but just look at the colours. I mean, they really stand out. They pop. Okay, so that was it, basically. I mean, I've shown you the video, I've shown you the design, and... I mean, it's an iPad. They've been around for years now. You've seen a lot of iPads, probably. If you've not seen an iPad, you hide under a rock somewhere. But this iPad is a little bit different. It does only cost £329. And it, for that, considering that Apple usually overcharges, I think this is well bang on with the money. And I am really enjoying it. I'm not going to give out my full opinion yet. I'm going to give it like a, no a month or so when I've used it every day, got used to it, seen what I use it for, and if I'm still picking it up as regularly as I do now in a month's time. So far, I've been using it every day. I've been playing games, doing work, PowerPoint, Word, everything that is perfect. But I am really pleased with it. My favourite thing so far is the screen. It's beautiful. It's not 2K. It's like 1440p just thereabouts. But I really, really do like it. The colours are amazing. I've been watching loads of YouTube on it. Loads of like Amazon Prime, stuff like that. And I'm really excited to just keep using it for a few months. So you've seen what I think of it for now. You've seen the specs, the kind of things it's doing, what it's got on it. So let's give it around a month and I'll be back with more videos on this. But don't but I am hopefully gonna be uploading more to this channel. So Thank you, goodbye, I've been Bradley Space, see you later, bye!